All right, welcome everyone. This is the very first Modern Visual Podcast. We're going to be putting these out every single week. And uh, Joe Stevens here. I'm a marketing and accounts manager. And we're just going to be coming to you with that weekly fire, bringing it out. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have the boss man in here every week, giving us some tips, giving us some, uh, some valuable info to give to you guys, some background on the company, whatever it might be. And uh, here he is, Luke Truman. How you going, guys? Thanks uh, for having me, Joe. <laughs> well... Can't really not have you, mate. It's your office, you know. Yeah, good point. All right, Luke. So, first of all, this is the first one we're going to do. We're going to be short and sweet, but, you know, eventually we're going to turn you into a Gary V or a GC, but <laughs> to get things moving, Mon Visual, been quite a journey. It's been five years, I think. Yeah, just over five years now. Right. So, in that five years, I mean, your journey goes before that. So, let's start there. Like, you know, I think a lot of people outside looking in, they see the business where it's at now. You know, it's rolling, it's successful. You've got a good list of clientele. You've got nice offices here in the peninsula. Um, but, you know, before that, a lot of hard work, a lot of grind. Like, where did it all start for you? Yeah. Yeah. Great question, Joe. And you'll have to bear with me today. Uh, obviously, a bit sick. Um, I'll do my best. I think you're on the same trajectory. Yeah, it's my bad. I was sick last week. I think I might have gave it to you, but uh. yeah, no, that's it. Um, but yeah, just to give everyone a rundown of, you know, where I started in this journey very briefly and where we're sort of heading. Um, yeah, basically got into technology at a very young age. I was probably around 13 and uh, mum bought me uh, a computer. Uh, back in the day, I think she used, uh, you know, Dick Smith gift cards or something like that. You know, it wasn't something we could really afford. She was a single mother. And yeah, just got straight into computers back then as a bit of a hobby after school and just really became, you know, fascinated with the whole computer thing, the whole internet thing, you know, just the fact that you can, you know, do anything you want, you can be anyone you want to be. And uh, yeah, just got into, you know, the online gaming side of it, like most little nerdy 13 year olds would do. Nerd. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, and I was also, you know, quite active as well into sport at the same time. So I was one of these hybrid sort of kids, didn't really fit in anywhere. And uh, yeah, so basically uh, needed a, a server for uh, running some online games. And I just happened to come across a guy that asked me um, if I would run his servers in exchange for him giving me a server. And Fortunately for me, I'd read a book a school friend had given me around how to run a server, a Linux server specifically, and uh, yeah, ended up with my own server, packed a heap of games on there, game servers, and started a little hosting business, um, hosting being where you keep your website, and uh, yeah, it sort of um, took off from there. I created an MSM Messenger robot back in the day, uh, had a couple hundred thousand people on there. Wow, that's cool. MSN days, they were a good time. Yeah, that's it. So people could, uh, you know, talk to the bot. Uh, they could do, um, you know, a number of different things with this robot. And, uh, yeah, and then I sold the hosting, uh, you know, accounts through the bot. That was, uh, you know, uh, how, how that business took off. This is like then. your first hustle, your yeah, first little correct. hustle. Yeah, that's right. And then, um, you know, I was able to then um, uh, sell things at school as well that I'd bought with the money from the hosting uh, profits, such as, I don't know if you remember, Bear Margera and Jackass oh, and yeah. all that sort of stuff. So all that merchandise I was able to sell at school and uh, profit on that as well. So yeah, had this whole little world going uh, back then, was making a couple of grand a month from uh, Google Ads that I was running on my websites as well. So you've always sort of been a little bit of a entrepreneur even as a teenager yeah yeah you could say that so uh yeah so it was good back then and then uh my server got hacked and it all sort of came crashing down very quickly i was a kid i had no idea what i was doing it's all just a big sort of game big, big bit of fun just happened to make some money back then and uh yeah so basically closed it all down uh mum told me i had to get a job at the same time she had no idea what i was doing this was back in the day when not everyone so when was this like mid 2000s Late 2000s? It would have been early 2000, so 2003, 2004, yeah, okay. roughly. Don't quote me on that. The thing with the MSN vibe, it would have had to have been around like yeah. 03, 02, something like yep, that. Yep, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, so I uh, had this whole world going. It all came tumbling down very quickly. And, uh, yeah, ended up actually getting a uh, an apprenticeship in printing. So uh, my careers teacher from my old school um, helped me out, even though I left school at this stage because I just wasn't uh, doing too well at school. And uh, yeah, she sort of offered me two options. She said, you can do a cheese science apprenticeship, weird as it comes, or, yep. <laughs> or I could uh, you know, look into a printing apprenticeship. So uh, printing seemed to be something I'd actually heard of. So I think a cheese science apprenticeship is almost as strange as our friend Russell being a mushroom engineer or whatever yeah, it is. That's but right. It's a whole Good other on you, Russell, if you're listening. Um, all right, so pretty much you went into work after that, you'd say, and that's kind of fast track a few years. We met in like 09. Yep. And that's where I met you and you were working the print gig and you still had your little side hustles. I think you were doing some hosting stuff again yep. then and doing some some website builds on the side. Um, 
And then it seemed like I saw you a bunch from there, but around I think 13 or 14 is when Modern Visual started becoming a, a vision for you. You know, you ended up quitting the job and moving in a new direction. So, you know, where did that drive come from? And, and then, you know, how did we get from there to where you are now? Yeah, great question. I think, um, yeah, I obviously was uh, right into my tech as a hobby and uh, obviously getting into printing. I did that for close to 10 years and I just got sick of, I suppose, Groundhog Day, working in a factory all day. Um, yeah, it just it just ended up, it was great at the start and then I just got over and I thought, you know, I want to get out there and explore the world. I was going to this, this sort of shoebox every day and uh, you know, I just really wanted to uh, explore the world. So my wife sort of suggested, well, why don't you do that stuff you did when you were a young teenager? And I thought... No, wait, what, what are you talking about? What stuff? Yeah, so just uh, <laughs> obviously, you know, um, hosting uh, and websites and stuff like that. So it obviously started with the hosting. So I ended up uh, purchasing a, a reseller hosting account um, mm -hmm. and that was with Venture IP. And very quickly, you know, the control panel from back in the day and now was very similar. So I was able to get the hosting stuff just underway. And um, yeah, basically uh, just did that on the side of my day job as a printer. And my, this is actually worth talking about. My old boss uh, came in and said, uh, hey, Luke, I know you're into computers and stuff. Why don't you uh, check out this website I just had built? Um, what do you think it's worth? And I said, oh, look, oh, probably about 500 bucks. He goes, I just paid six grand for this website. And, <laughs> and your I just brain this, went ding, 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 yeah, ding, ding, yeah, ding. I just had this massive light bulb. And I thought, that's more than my whole monthly wage, yeah. my salary. So I um, very quickly uh, went home and thought, how do you build a website? And this was, you know, early sort of 2013, 14. And um, yeah, and I thought, how do you build a website these days? And it was it was something very basic. I thought, what's what's this WordPress thing I found here? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the number of templates, it's almost done for you. So I was actually able to... Um, so it was around that time it became a little bit more automated and a little easier for yeah, con well, like construction and everything, right? Yeah, I mean, they did have control panels back in the day, but this was just made so easy to make something quite nice. Um, and obviously, you know, mobile phones were a big deal then as well, you know, at the moment. So... Uh, the website had to work across all devices. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I pretty much went back to my boss the next day or so and said, hey, if you know anyone that needs a website, I can now do now do websites. Because obviously I was already doing the hosting and yeah. something I failed to mention, you know, they, I picked up my old work as a, my first hosting client to host their websites. And um, yeah, so my old boss got me my first client, which was a, a good friend of his and uh, built his website, uh, George Wakefield, who's actually still a client of ours now. Uh, and um, it all sort of took off from there. We, we basically got into the web design then as a, a bit of a side hustle as, as part of the, the day job as well. And um, after 12 months, it really took off and I ended up taking the plunge and going full time and, uh, you know, taking modern visual on the road, as you would say. Yeah, it's cool. It's been quite a journey because I've seen every office you've had. Yep. I've pretty much seen all the different range of employees and the growth you've had. And it's funny because we've been, like I said, we've been friends for a long time and I've seen the journey and now I'm a part of it, like actually working here with you. Um, which I think that's a testament to the environment you've built, you know what I mean? Um, Cause it, I think it's attracting people and it's growing, which is cool. Um, but, you know, I think to wrap it up, I would say, you know, when you went full time into it and I think the importance of your networking ability and that stuff's evident right away because you see that, um, you know, you picked up your old boss as your first client and it went from there. And, you know, from there now we've got, this office here is here we've been for a year now? Uh, December it's been, so almost over six months, is it? Yeah, and yep. then what have we got, five full-time staff? Um, I think we've got five full-timers and then a, a raft of contractors. I think yeah. it's around there, it could be more, it could be less. Yeah, so we've got different guys we contract in for different roles. Um, yeah. And, you know, probably just talk a little bit about, not the, not the growing pains, but how do you go from going out on your own, especially for the small business owners that are watching or listening, to then being able to sustain this kind of uh, monthly outgoings and basically the 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 range of clients we have like it's a lot of work yeah no great question i think um it all comes down to you know when you start out you can't really afford marketing you have to be out there networking cold calling so yeah when i started modern visual it was a whole heap of cold calling and 
I hired my first employee after three months, which was a web designer and um, him coming on board, you know, obviously I was helping him out and training him and stuff like that. But it just freed me up in a big way to network and cold call local businesses and uh, bring bring the bickies in, as they would say. Because you're big on that. Like I noticed you, 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 you delegate a lot and you hire the right people for the right jobs and it frees you up to be working on the business, not so much... Yeah. Tripping over the day to day, which I think we'll talk about business coaching and all that in a different episode, but um, that's a big thing for you. And I think it's effective. Yeah. I mean, I, I try and stick to what I'm good at. And, you know, for me, that's relationships and getting out and meeting people. Um, yeah. I mean, I'd almost try and think of myself as a little bit lazy and that's in a good way. It just means that I can delegate things to people that are good at what they do. And, you know, I'm not so good at, and that just means that I can be out there selling and creating partnerships with other uh, businesses that I would call intermediaries that, you know, can bring us ongoing work um, instead of me trying to prospect one by one, if that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. So get back to where we were at. So you, you hired your first uh, web developer after um, three months. Yep. And then was that before the first offices? Um, no. So I actually had a desk in a friend's office. That's right. Yeah. Yep. I remember that now. Yeah. 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 And which is actually around the corner from where our current office is. And, um, you know, very quickly outgrew the one desk I had. I think we were trying to cram two or three guys onto one desk. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And then didn't you take that building over in the end or what? No. No. So what happened was I was approached by Frankston City Council and they mentioned that they had these business grants available. And one of the criteria was to have a uh, a lease in the Frankston area for a minimum of three years. So that was the kick up the bum I needed to go out and find my own office and, you know, take the plunge and just do it. And, uh, I ended up winning that grant out of uh, 50 other businesses at the time. So, um, yeah, that was, you know, double whammy, well worth it. That's something I'm going to talk about in another episode too, because whether it's like newspapers, getting engaged, winning like government grants, like whatever it is, you've always found ways to get into that mainstream attention spotlight. I don't know. It's cool. It's definitely something else we'll talk about. But um, It's just about really getting out there and talking to people and meeting new people and, you know, don't be afraid to uh, see what other people have to say put yourself out there yep. um, and here we are now so what's the future of life for Mon Visual what's the the long-term plan yeah great question Joe um, I mean growth is definitely something that's on our agenda and um, you know we believe that every Australian business deserves the growth that you know they they need so um, yeah just to get out there and um, continue to grow and keep provide, hustling provide, yeah that's right and provide high quality services and just with a, a big point of difference of ours um, being around the business consulting side of things uh, really tying that in with marketing and just helping businesses achieve their dreams and their goals from inside and out yeah I think that's the point of difference here it is a holistic approach to business development whether it's your marketing your business coaching web development whatever it is I think and the more I've got involved here and you see when the clients come in they need every part of what we do mm-hmm. which is a big thing yeah i mean we we do help obviously large businesses that sort of what you would call have their shit sorted <laughs> um but we also deal with businesses that are smaller that you know they may have been around a long time but um they've never really had that uh accountability from uh you know another individual so that's where having that business consultant out there with the business on a regular basis just really helps them reach their goals All right. Well, uh, I think that'll wrap it up on the MV history lesson. Yep. We'll come in hot with another one soon. Awesome. Thanks, Joe.